Hey guys, I am so excited for today's video because I'm going to be trying out Huda's new nude palette. I am so freaking excited. I have not been this excited about a nude palette in a very long time. Like, I'm not going to lie, neutrals do not even interest me in the slightest these days. Like, the last 12 months, I could not care less about brown eyeshadows. Could not care less. And then I saw Huda announce this. And I was like, man, she is just on the ball. Like, she has really reinvented the concept of nude. And it is so pretty and so much better than, like, a boring, plain neutrals palette. Like, she's got those glitters. She's got those pressed pigments in there. Or pressed glitters, I should say. And foils. And the color combinations of this palette just look insane. Now, I did jump on my stories and did a little poll. And I asked what shades everyone wanted me to use because I've seen a lot of makeup looks on this already. I'm a little bit late to the game. I got it, I think, on Tuesday in the mail, but I work a normal job during the week, so I couldn't film until the weekend. Um, but I saw, I've seen heaps of pinky mauve looks, and I want to know if you guys wanted me to use the golds and browns instead. And um, majority, it was very close. It was very close. 53% have voted the pinkies and the mauves. So I'm going to do the pinky and mauves like everyone else has, but I'm going to try and make it look a little bit different. I do have a little card with some info about the shades on it. So you have two, four, six, eight, ten matte shades, and they're described as satin soft mattes. So they're buttery mattes with aloe vera and coconut oil in them, which allows for a smooth application but intense color payoff. So that's so cool to know. I had no idea that you would have aloe vera and coconut oil in a shadow, so that's really cool. Then they have four multi-reflective pearls, which are high coverage metallic foiled shadows with multi-reflective pearl flakes for dimensional finish. Now, those shades are these ones that have the chunks in it. So when I saw this online, I actually thought the photos of it, let me turn this down so you guys can see without it distorting the colors. I actually thought like these chunky colors were edited to make them look more intense, but that's legitimately what they look like in real life. And those chunks in them are the actual pearl fragments. So they're a metallic foiled shadow, but then those chunks that you see are like pearl bits of shadow, which is so cool. So I'm excited to, you know, try them out and see how they go. So you've got the four shades. So you've got Crave, Fantasy, Daydream, and Charmed, which are these two in the top row. And then you've got um, this one here in the middle row, and you've got Charmed down the bottom there. Um, they just, they look beautiful. And then you have two pressed glitters, which are these two here. These are the pressed glitters. And then you have um, Kinky, which is a pressed pearl, which is this one over here in the far left-hand side. And then you also have a concealer shade. So this color here is an actual concealer. So you pop that down to then put the um, multi-reflective pearls on top of all the glitters. I nearly forgot to show you guys too. This is the actual uni carton. Oh, that's too bright. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to get my lighting right. I'm hoping it looks okay. But this is the actual carton that the palette comes in. So it's like a white carton, very different to the other packaging. So this one is obviously like all blush pinks and like nudie shades. And then she has also exclusively launched some brushes, but I believe these are only available on Huda's site. So they're all double-ended brushes. So on one end of the three brushes, you have like a little defined detailer brush, which they all feel really amazing too. That's going to be perfect for like your inner corners or if you're like cutting your crease and you want to redefine the line. You've got a small tapered brush, which is actually very similar in size to my favorite blending brush by Sigma, which is an E25. So that's amazing. Then you have this brush here, which has two foam applicators. So they are actually for the pressed glitters and for the cream shadow. And also like you can use it for the pressed pearls as well. But I believe it's more so for the concealer shade and also for the glitters so that you can pat them on your lid. Then on the opposite side of those two other brushes, you've got a shading brush for like your lid shade and you've got a really laugh, laugh ugh, I can't talk, a really large fluffy blending brush. So that is the three brushes. I love the handles. So they are rose gold and then the very center part of the ferrule of the brush is like acrylic, but it's like baby pink acrylic. It is so pretty. Uh, they are really nice. They look like really nice brushes. So, but you guys know me. 
I'm my ride or die Sigma girl, so I kind of like stick to Sigma through and through. Also, just because it's easier for you guys, I have discount codes with Sigma. Um, I can also like just use one brand and you guys can follow easily. So that's why I like to do that. But anyway, let's get into the actual shadow. So I'm going to prime my lids as I always do using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in the shade Eden. This is just a really nice neutral shade and I like to use my P86 brush from Sigma to blend it all over my lid. You can use my discount code which is Hannah for 10% off Sigma brushes all year round if you guys are interested in buying them. And I always have all my products and brushes in the description box too. So if you guys are wanting to know what I'm using and you miss it in the video or you just want to have like a list of brushes then check the description box as always. So now I'm going to set my eyelids in place with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Light using my F35 brush. So I think I'm going to start off by taking my Sigma E40 blending brush. I haven't used this in so long. It's a really nice large fluffy brush. I'm going to take this shade here which is called Tickle. It's like a brownie pink and I'm going to like just really like blend that, really smoke that out over my eyes, like big time, smoke it out over my eyes. <laughs> so I just tapped into the shadow and there is most certainly a little bit of kickback. Let me just show you guys. Can you guys see the kickback in the pan there? Let me turn the light down. See what I mean by the kickback? So if you're really heavy handed with how you dig into your shadows, just be very careful with this palette because it will kick up a little bit of shadow when you tap into it. So I'm just quickly going to switch to an E25 just so I can blend that shade into my inner corner more. And I'll probably go back between the two brushes, between the E25 and the A40. I like really want to smoke this out, like heat smoky. Usually I do my lower lash line after I've done my wing liner because I find it like easier when it's blank to get like the right angle. But I think I'm going to actually start my lower lash line now as well. So I'm going to take this brush here, which I've never actually used before. It is an E36 blending brush and it is like a teeny tiny blending brush. So I'm going to start by just taking a little bit of that and I'm blending it along my lower lash line. Might be a little bit too flexible, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's like a little bit too bendy. Um, look, I think I'll just go in with my typical E30 pencil brush and just start off by like sort of having a little bit more intense color and then I'll use my E25 blending brush to like smoke it out a little bit more. Just poked myself in the eye with a brush. So next up, I'm going to take the shade Spanked. Ooh, it's this one right here. And I'm going to use my E25 blending brush and I'm going to pop it in relatively the same area but closer down towards my lid so not quite as blended out as what we currently have here. It's interesting, guys, the shade Spanked has like no kick up at all. Like none whatsoever. I'm glad I've gone with the pinky mauves because I'm feeling this right now, like big time. So now on the same brush, I'm going to take the shade Love Bite, which is this shade right here, which is like a purple color. And I'm going to pop that in the same area yet again. Once again, super smoky, super blown out. I'm feeling it. I'm undecided how, like, how far I'm gonna take my cut crease out, like whether or not I'm gonna cut my entire lid or like three quarters of my lid or what I'm gonna do. But um. I'm just gonna play it by ear. I love the shadows though, they're so far, they're beautiful. And next up, I'm going to cut my crease. Now, this palette does have a concealer shade in it, but I'm just not sure if it's quite light enough for what I want to cut my crease, because here you guys can see the shape tape, which is what I use in Fair Neutral versus the concealer in the palette. 
And um, look, I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling where I'm up to right now and I really don't want to try that concealer and it like not turn out perfect for cutting your crease. So I'm going to have to test it out in another video where I don't care so much if my makeup fails because I really want my makeup to work today. So I'm just going to cut my crease using my Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. And I'll link all the concealer brushes I'm going to be using in the description box because guys, sometimes I use like three or four just to get the right shape and angle. So I will put them below for you. So I'm going to take my little E21 smudge brush and I'm going to be taking the shade Love Bite again which is the darkest purple that we used and I'm just going to be tracing where the shadow meets the concealer. Just to really define that line again, just to really define the cut crease. Okay, so now time for the lid shape. I don't know if I should do fantasy or daydream, or maybe I could do both. I'm gonna start off by taking my E57 shader brush and I'm going to take daydream first, which is more of a purpley shade, which is this one right here. So I'm just trying the little sponge applicator and guys, this definitely picks up the shadow way better than like my normal shadow brushes. So I see why she has included this, like that's way better, oh wow that's really pretty. Okay, I understand Huda. Like, Typically, most people would look at these sort of applicators, <laughs> like the little sponge applicator, and be like, piss off. Um, but it actually picks up this foiled shadow so much better than a normal brush. Like, so much better. It's crazy. And because it has like a nice point too, it's making it easier to get right up to the cut crease line. And now I'm going to take the other side of the applicator and I'm going to take the shade Fantasy. I have to look really close to read the names because they're like in little rose gold metallic like foiled writing and it's really hard to see. So I'm going to take that one and pop that all on the inner portion. Mm, I actually like that purpley shade better. So what I might do is just blend that up a little bit and then I'm going to go back over in Daydream. Shade Daydream is so pretty, oh my god. I'm just putting Daydream all over my inner corner as well with the opposite end of that brush. Look, I'm looking at that and I feel like I want to put some pink, matte pink liner as well. Let me just go get my Too Faced one. I have my Too Faced sketch marker um, in Candy Pink. And I think I'm going to follow along where that cut crease is and pop this there. Because I feel like it would make it look like really wow. It's honestly like just giving it that little extra oomph while still being like kind of subtle. Like it's not obnoxious and in your face. So now I've got all the shadows on. Now I'm going to do my liner. And of course I'm using the Quick Flick. This is the Intense Black. And this is actually Modest, which is a 10 millimeter. I'm just using that today because I don't know where my 12 millimeter is. So. Thank you. 
Okay, so now I just need some lashes. These are the ones, the Samantha, the number seven lashes. They are definitely my favorite. Okay, now I've got some lashes on. Ugh, look out world. So I'm just gonna take some of my MAC um, Bold Bad Black Mascara and just coat my lashes just so they blend nicely with the falsies. I just need some lippy and to set my brows in place. Oh my gosh, I'm having a really good makeup day. I think um, for lipstick I'm going to wear, it's a limited edition lipstick, so you guys um, can't get it. I'm so sorry, but it's like one of my most favorite lipstick colors ever, and it's in the shade Darling, but that's my unused one. I need my used one, because I have two. That's how much I love the lipstick. There it is, so it's by it's from the Mac and Mariah Carey collab. Literally like the prettiest lipstick you guys could possibly ever see in your entire life. The packaging is everything. And it's like a really pretty like pinky nude shade. So I'm gonna pop some lip liner on, pop that lipstick on, and then we'll be good to go. Let's put Enchanting Strobe from Huda Beauty over the top. Okay guys, so there you have it. This is a finished look and I am obsessed. Oh my gosh, this palette, honestly. Like, I'm sorry, but my makeup is so pretty. This palette is freaking beautiful. I don't think I even need to swatch it for you guys to like, believe me. Like, look how gorgeous my makeup is. Those shadows are so pigmented. They blended so beautifully. They're built really lovely on top, on top of each other as well. The foiled like pearl shadows are literally incredibly reflective. They are so beautiful. When I was doing my eye makeup, I kind of felt like the look I created was very similar colors to the one I created using the Rose Gold Remastered. At first I was thinking like, oh, is this kind of similar to the other one? And no, it's not, not at all. If anything, the shades might be kind of similar to the Mauve Obsessions, which is where in my bedroom? Gemstone Obsessions, Warbrow Electric Obsessions, Smoky Obsessions. Mm, actually, I actually don't remember where it put. Oh, I had to put it away with me, that's right. Got to find all my stuff in this room. There's so much makeup now that it's hard to remember where things are. But if anything, the Mauve Obsessions palette is kind of similar. You just obviously have limited, more limited options. So if you guys don't want the full size palette, but you want something that's like mauve then definitely go the Mauve Obsessions. It's a beautiful formula. The foiled shadows in this are just incredibly beautiful as well but if you're wanting something with more brownie tones as well and a few more like lid options then this one is certainly going to be for you it is freaking stunning i cannot even deal i think this might actually be my favorite huda palette like i froth over the obsessions palette especially the mauve and the coral they're probably my two favorite after doing this i look I think this might be my new favorite. It's beautiful. The formulation is actually, it feels quite different to the other full size palettes. Um, the mattes feel super different to them. So yeah, I just, I really rate it. So I hope you guys love the look that I came up with with this palette. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below on what you think of the palette. And of course, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I will do another tutorial super soon using like this bottom row of shades. So the more the brownie shades with like a gold lid, like I'll do this color Charmed and Crave. So it's more like goldy, silvery, not silver. Well, kind of. They're like cool tone golds and browns. Hope that makes sense. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll be talking to you in the comments section and in my next video. Bye.